Okay, hi guys, and welcome back to part two of YP10. So let's play Imperium Romana. And so the start point was 509 BC, and that was Rome when we've completed that. So now we've got four possible choices. <coughs> we have Caralis in 238 BC, Genoa in 209 BC, and Capua in 312 BC. Or we could skip it up to 146 BC and play Rome. Yeah, which actually looks a much better Rome than it did with 509. But we'll see. So, out of these four choices, I think we'll do Capua. The prosperous city of Capua stands in the southeast of the Italian peninsula, with a direct connection to the capital through the Via Appia. This road is of enormous strategic and economic importance, and proves that Rome does not simply conquer, it brings prosperity. The surrounding barbarian villages, far from being a menace, present an excellent opportunity for establishing commerce through new trade routes. This could very well be the key to achieving a grandeur to rival that of Rome itself. Yeah, that sounds good, so without listening to the others. And as always, when you start this, nothing but this stockpile. So, first things first. Let's get four houses down so we can get more people and I'll speed this up. And by the way, the reason I haven't been able to do this as fast is because I found out I have like, other stuff to do because I've just got dumped with essay writing and other stuff. But hopefully I should be able to get two to five out by today. If not, the death will be out by tomorrow. So as you can see, all of these have that. Now we have citizens, we can start The next the 10 houses you build will cost you no denarii. They still cost building material. Houses are restricted to casa in this scenario. You won't be able to build flax farms. Rome will supply you with building materials every 10 minutes. Well, that's nice of them. Build three wheat farms. Ancient Capua owed much of its prosperity to the growing and trade of a species of wheat called spelt. It was used as an ingredient in different foods, wine, spices, and even medicine. Oh yeah, by the way, now I'm gonna let you listen to the man as he reads out these historical notes. So I'm trying to create some jobs. Olive farm, no, wait. There's a wheat farm. We need three of these. So one, two, two, right, no, there we go. And once again, up to five. And I think I've still got ten free builds. Build will cost you no. I've still got ten free builds left because I didn't breed it before building these houses. Which is going to be a slight pain. Your merchants have found a new trade route. Rome will now buy flour from us at 12 denarii. To establish a trade route, build a trade post and click on the established trade route icon in its info panel. Once the route is established, it will constantly buy or sell the traded resource. The next 10 houses... Okay, so... Trade route. Oh, 
three houses just in case. Oh, by the way, I've, um, if you haven't already noticed from last time, I've turned up the music volume. I've turned down the mic volume a little, just because some like, two people suggested it to me. One was privately messaged, and one was on one of the videos. So that the trade route, and uh, oh, so that's what I want to say. Forum to level two, the needs of all citizens will be satisfied. Okay, I'm just not gonna bother doing that. Actually, I did say I would, so. If you upgrade your forum to level two, the needs of all citizens will be satisfied. At the beginning of the second Punic Wars, third century BC, Capua was considered equal to Rome and Carthage. It even demanded that one of the two Roman consuls should always be selected from Capua. That's nice. So let's see for two, we need ten houses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three more houses. There's eight. Number nine can go. Up here. Then there's the tenth. Now it's our slaves work in the rain to build our houses. Just a waiting game. So I'm going to put this on self speed. I'm just going to go visit these barbarians. There are 72 people. Yep. They're ax they've got axemen in this village. They hope, the things would ro hope that things remain quiet with the Romans. Um, these got, yeah, these have got axemen also. This one's amazed by how civilized we are. And then finally, I wonder if these have axemen. Oh no, they actually have bold maidens. And they hope nothing bad comes from us Romans. Only time I tell. Let's see. Okay, to level two. You notice a splendid residence which was recently constructed in the city. Congratulations. Oh, this stops. This is your first Casa House. The apprentices inhabiting these buildings require bread, sausage, and cloth. If you upgrade your form, you the next 10 houses, you must earn 1,500 denarii. A new trade route with Rome will help us in this endeavor. You can draw additional tablets if you find a task too hard at the moment or it requires a long period of time to complete. Okay, let's see what this. Walking through the city streets, you notice how everyone looks at you with respect and gratitude. It seems that the people's needs are satisfied, and they are happy to live in your city. Oh, that's nice. Super sunny, warm, or flower. Um, we've got all castle houses except for these. I think it's just because these are closer, to, probably closer to the altars. Yeah, see so the altars range doesn't reach them. So if I just gonna try something here, what I run? Oh, altar. So if I just build an altar here. Yeah, I saves to. I'm sorry about that. Get ourselves to quickly build it. The plague has struck your city. Your citizens and slaves may become sick if their needs for food and water are not satisfied. Herbalists can heal sick citizens, 
and help you to cope with this crisis. Several Force. citizens and slaves have become ill. Suffering to an incubate. Name it says four citizens and four slaves have become ill. No, four is not a lot. And I yet was the altar, so he built a new altar. Get much more castles. Get more castles. Some more, more flower. There's nothing else that we can use, so. I'm going to draw a new tablet. You must know, the wheat farms have yielded a rich harvest. For the duration of this tablet, your farmers will produce more flour. Well, that was okay. This is going to produce twice as much, which means twice as much close to the trade post. Which means even more. Um, the wheat farms have yielded a rich harvest. You must earn 1,500 denarii. The wheat farms have yielded a rich harvest. As you can see by doing that, already made the money I need. So let's set the new tablet. The wheat farms, the nearby barbarian village, offers an excellent deal on linen. Barbarians sell linen for two denarii. Okay, so it's boy. The nearby farm, the wheat farms. If you upgrade your forum to level three, a new trade route will become available, over which you will be able to sell olives at 15 denarii. Preto, a delegation of merchants from Alexandria have arrived in Capua. If we impress them by showing our wealth and prosperity, they will surely secure a new trade route for us. Okay, so to get to level three, we need. Ten castles. So it's just these two that hold us back. 